hello everyone welcome in my channel esp.net core and uh, today i'm going to show you uh, there are the three way to return the data from action method in esp.net core web api so just look at uh, up uh, what is the method in a web api uh, to return a data from action method in esp.net core so uh, you also you can write uh, your uh, homework uh, as as usual so there are the you know that there are the three methods uh, that is the first one is the specific type second one is the i action result and the third one is action result of template a t is a class any you can say specified it okay so first of all i'm going to show you about uh, specific type uh, written the specific types from ASP.NET Core Web API action method in which you can see specific type is used to return the preemptives preemptives I mean to say that uh, string boolean integer etc uh, or the complex data uh, like uh, custom object type uh, from an uh, action method so in this example you can see uh, here we have a route and the controller name and then name field and in which you can see that written only the string I mean to say that written preemptive types so uh, you can write into your notebook that is the specific types written only the preemptives like string boolean integer etc okay so specific type written string as as you as, as well as complex data types complex data type I mean to say that written class okay so just uh, write on syntax a uh, route controller name and the uh, id property as a parameter you can use but uh, that is the line that is the public employee employee is the directly specified so that is the specific type so public employee get employee by id and uh, where employee equals to new employee also you can return uh, you can get the data from database table by using the context class okay so uh, also you can uh, define their id property id is double equals to one name equals to tarun okay that is the simple thing you can do and also you can uh, get the data from database table by using simple thing like context dot employees dot fair and uh, expression is also included like where a dot id is double equals to id and dot first or default okay so written what that is the employee so here you can see that employee written only the specific type you can just return and the uh, complex data type as usual uh, and as well as primitive data types so just look up uh, look at that uh, specific types allow us to return what types of uh, allow to return the in the specific types any preemptive data types from an action method first of all uh, in a specific type preemptive data types from action method you can return okay you know uh, you can uh, you can see in uh, example in just few um, before few seconds and uh, the second feature is the any complex data objects like the class like uh, employee and the third one is the collection of objects like a list of t and fourth one is the i enumerable of t also written and the fifth is i async enumerable of t also written and etc okay so there is the method to return benefits of specific type what what are the benefits of a specific type to uh, written in asp.net core web api you can see in the swagger okay using the swagger or similar application there is a no need to define produces response type okay so there is a no need to define produces response time because we have defined return type explicitly okay because uh, define uh, return type that is the string as usual as well as employee so because we have defined the return type explicitly 
okay that is the benefit but uh, what are the drawbacks of a specific type that is uh, you cannot return multiple types of data like uh, not found okay and redirects so you cannot return multiple types of data like example not found okay and a redirect okay so the next one is i action result types so second one is i action result and third one is i action result of t sorry action result of t okay uh, in action result we can return the data using some built-in methods also uh, we can return multiple types multiple type i mean to say that okay redirect not found also return it so okay not found content file and many more things uh, you can return like uh, multiple types you can return okay so return i action result types asp.net core so route employees id oops route employee id and public i action result that is the second type to return uh, data from um, in asp.net core web api action method so i action result return uh, multiple types multiple type means to uh, okay uh, uh, not found etc so id is double equal to zero that return not found else get first of all employee from the database context class by using the context class so employee equals to context dot employee dot where a dot id is double equals to id from uh, first or default and return okay in in okay method you can return employee okay so uh, just let's discuss about the benefits of i action result types and uh, in i action result type you can see that uh, multiple types of data along with the status code you can return okay so if allow us to return multiple types of data along with status code this is very uh, important feature of restful api if you return a status code with the multiple types then that is the powerful features of uh, i action result but the disadvantage is also there swagger will uh, would not uh, be able to identify the output so we need to use the produces response type explicitly that is the disadvantage of i action result so uh, the disadvantage is this written multiple types you know very well because okay content type and the redirect is is the type of multiple types so this written multiple types of data but swagger would not be able to identify the output okay so must to use produces response type explicitly if you want to use i action result and want to return uh, em employee then must to use explicitly define the output uh, the status code with their explicitly types so let's uh, take an example route employee and their id property also define producers type with the status code so produces response type okay and in which you can uh, write status code status codes dot 
status 201 created and there is the explicitly type that is define the type of the data you want to return that is type equals to type of employee okay so and after that you can write your the say similar code just above okay so must to define the type in the example if you want to uh, get the data from uh, get the data in a swagger so the third one is written action result of t types from esp.net core web api action method okay uh, it can return both a specific type as well as built in types specific type i mean to say that uh, primitive types and the object type and as well as the built in types and also multiple types also also support so public action result you know that action result is the one meaning get name int id so in the route parameter must to define the id and if you want to get the name just define it Okay, so action result of get name ID is double equals to zero. You so you can define the not found uh, features, as well as well as you just return the specific type that is the directly return the string. Okay, so you also return the complex type, as well as the multiple types like uh, not found as and uh, return the object types. So. A written complex data like i action result of t and that t is the class name so define route x employee and id property and so the action result of t was introduced in asp.net code 2.1 first of all and it can uh, return both a specific type as well as the built-in types method so you can see in the, in the examples so if it id is double equals to zero then return not found and get the employee if id is not equals to zero and let's uh, take an uh, advantages of action result of t and also uh, we have a disadvantage also so if you want to return the uh, status code uh, in the, in your example must to define what that is the produce response types so that is the disadvantage of uh, the action result of t without response responses types you cannot define in esp.net core web api so return multiple types of data along with the status code that is the example uh, that is the uh, advantages and the second one advantages is there is a no need to use produces response type produces response types attribute for explicitly uh, defined types when you are defining written types explicitly okay so there is a no need to uh, remember that there is a no need to use produces response types attribute uh, and uh, you can see in the above example so there is uh, define produce response type status code as well as the defined type explicitly you know that in i action result defined types explicitly as well as status code but 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 Defined types explicitly is 
not binded in i x n result of sorry x n result of t but status code use a response types produces response types features but for the status code so there is the difference between the specific type and i x n result of i x n result types and third one is an action result of t types in i x n result of uh, i x n result there is a no need to define produces response type for the status code but define explicitly types in action result of t define produces response type for status code so there is a difference so you can take an example so thank you guys for watching this video for deep learning in ASP.NET Core and if you want to learn more about ASP.NET Core please subscribe my channel and don't forget this please subscribe my channel.